Hi, Sher Pindarv is here, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and the Artist Tablet Book. Before demonstrating the brushes in the fashion illustration pack, I'd like to share a few fashion studies that I've done. On screen, we have a study that I created with brushes from the fashion pack, including flat glazing, oval mop water, the chisel marker, and the sharp marker. I drew this pen and watercolor using the Crow Quill Sketcher pen, and then I added color on separate layers using the oval water, oval mop water, and I blended color in certain areas using the round water blender. Here are fashion sketches that I drew using the sharp cover pencil. The girl in the wetsuit on the left was a sketch that I drew when doing design for Axie Classic wetsuits. Now I'll demonstrate each of the 15 brushes in the pack. Let's begin with the acrylic bristle. I'm going to choose a nice blue here in the color panel and make a stroke with the acrylic bristle. You see I have a stroke that allows me to paint thin to thick with grainy edges and this is an opaque brush so I can paint a light color over dark and if I brush back and forth I get a little bit of blending but not much. Choose the blue again and the acrylic fine bristle has finer bristles, just like the name sounds, and it also paints thin to thick strokes. And it has a little bit more transparency to it. Choose a blue again, and the chisel marker. is sensitive to opacity and a little bit to size and has a nice wedged feel to it. Next, the Crow Quill Sketcher Pen, which I'm going to choose some dark gray. See, it makes very nice, expressive, sketchy strokes. Next, the Filbert Water. I'll choose a nice blue. The Filbert Water picks up the paper grain that you have chosen, and it diffuses a little bit around the edge of the stroke. Next, the flat glazing, and I have the brush turned so that it allows me to paint a broad stroke when I pull horizontally, and when I turn it this way, because it's sensitive to rotation, it allows me to pull a stroke down. Here, I'll choose another color paint over the top. See there's a nice translucency to it and you see a fine bristle texture in it as well. I love this brush. So let's choose rich blue again. The oval mop water has a bristle dab, has a little bit of diffusion along the edge of the strokes and you get a nice bristle texture when you apply light pressure and more of a richer stroke when you apply heavy pressure and I'll choose a yellow and we'll see how that blends when you paint one over the other. Really a nice performing brush. Next will be the oval water. I'll choose a blue again. Oval water as you see, the dot right here has a crisper edge, and it also shows the paper texture that's chosen, and it's sensitive to opacity. Now on to the, well, let's skip down here to the round water blender while we're on the watercolors. And the round water blender allows us to pull these colors into each other. I used it on both of my color illustrations that I showed a bit ago. And then now to the round marker. Thick and thin strokes. And some translucency as well. Now down here to the sharp cover pencil and I'll choose a gray very expressive pencil with some grain in it as well and the sharp marker choose a blue 
This was nice for the details on the two color illustrations that I showed. And back to the pens, the variable smooth pen has a nice soft edge to it and is thick and thin, very expressive. The worn art marker The Warren Art Marker uses a build-up method. So if I choose another color, say, let's see, that's pink right here, draw over the top, you see it's darkening right here. Rather than covering, it's building up with the existing color that's underneath it. And then the Tapered Soft Eraser, which is useful for tidying up your marker work your pen work or pencil work, but does not affect the watercolor. And the water brushes that are in this set are based on digital watercolor technology. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the brushes demonstrated. So for my feature image, I used the oval water, oval mop water, the round marker, and the sharp marker. As you see here, the sharp marker, the oval water and oval mop to make these circular effects, the chisel marker in some various sizes to pull these long strokes right here, and here the sharp marker in a little bit larger size, and then to paint the background stripes I used the flat glazing brush. And then I did them actually on separate layers. I did the women on one layer, and then I had made another layer to pull the stripes across using the flat glazing, and then I used the tapered soft eraser to erase these areas right here on that layer. And then I used the collapse command available in the layer palette menu right here, collapse layers, to combine the layer with the stripes with the fashion illustration layer, making it one layer. Finally, I wanted to mention an important aspect about the flat glazing brush. It is sensitive to rotation, and for this type of performance, you need a art pen from Wacom. But if you have a regular standard pen from Wacom, you can click here to the advanced brush controls and you see the real bristle panel right here. You can change expression from rotation to bearing. Changing it to bearing will allow you to have a similar effect. So now I'm using bearing to pull strokes from different angles. So by doing that, you just tilt the pen. But I recommend, if possible, getting a 60 art pen from Wacom. You'll love it. Enjoy Painter and the Fashion Illustration Brush Pack. Thank you for watching. Happy painting!